Right, my name's Tom Baldy and I'm a site engineer for Zone 1 of the Christchurch Northern Corridor. Uh, today on site we're setting up our wick drain installation rig. Uh, the purpose of the wick drain uh, rig is to install wick drains approximately 10 metres into the surface that we're standing on at the moment. And when the, the drilling rig pulls its probe out, it leaves them in the ground. So a wick drain is a vertical drain that is going to aid in getting water and moisture up out of the, the, the ground and up to a, a level where we can deal with it and uh, get rid of it. Uh, we're installing quite a few of these things and they'll, they'll generally be between one and a half and two metres apart in a sort of triangular pattern. The drains look a little bit like this. Very good. The drains look a little bit like this. Uh, they come in a longer stretch obviously. Uh, the black material helps to give us a path for the water and this grey uh, material on the outside uh, prevents uh, any fine particles getting clogged up in there. It's like poking a hole in a water balloon, kind of. It's poking a straw in a water balloon. Where's the water going to go? It's going to go up and out. Uh, what's interesting about this particular rig is the fact that it's driving, or it has the ability to drive two uh, wood drains at once. Uh, this is the first time that we're aware that this has been used in New Zealand, so it's pretty reasonably exciting to be doing it, uh, and really allows us to crank up the productivity with the, with the wood drains. Uh, working with CNC's here, yeah, and that's been really good. Um, learning lots, and uh, yeah, it's a big job ahead of us, so plenty to do. I've been on the job for about uh, three or four months. The site engineer's role within CNC is to monitor the guys on the ground, make sure they've got everything that they need to continue pumping out their work in a safe and uh, an effective manner. Um, it's going pretty well and there's, there's plenty to learn. Uh, we've had a few small issues. Uh, the most notable is probably just a, a couple of little bits on the rig uh, breaking down. Uh, just due to the, the wear and tear that it gets from punching these things into the ground. Uh, but that was easily rectified and uh, the guy's done a really good job of that. Are we going right from the start again?